Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about prepositions. We are going to learn about prepositions. Now what are prepositions? Prepositions are mostly small words. Prepositions are usually small words that show the relation between one noun and another noun or pronoun. Okay, now look at this sentence. The book is on the table. The book is on the table. Here on is the preposition. Here on shows the relationship between book and the table. Book is one noun, table is another noun. <coughs> so the preposition on shows the connection between book and table. It can be pronounced also. Here, book is a noun, table is a noun, it can also be pronounced. And also remember one more thing, in most of the cases, I said most of the cases, a preposition will always come before a noun or a pronoun. A preposition will always come before a noun or a pronoun. For example, she is in the kitchen, in in is the preposition. We have kitchen after that. They live in Chennai. Chennai is a noun. And in the preposition has come before Chennai. I will meet you on Monday. Monday is a noun. She is talking to him. She is talking to him. To is a preposition. It has come before the pronoun him. While there can be exceptions, in most of the cases, a preposition will come before a noun or a pronoun. Okay? Now, prepositions, they show different relationships. Now, sometimes a preposition can show the time, the time of an action. I will... meet you at one o'clock I will meet you at one o'clock here the preposition shows the time here the preposition shows expresses indicates gives a, give us some idea about the time she lives in Kochi here the preposition is in. Here the preposition is in. And it tells us the place where she lives. She lives in Kochi. The preposition can also tell us the place. The preposition can also tell us the direction. He is coming from the market. He is coming from the market. From is the preposition. And it shows the direction. So there are very different prepositions. You know there are about 150 prepositions in the English language. The more than 150 prepositions in the English language. I am not going to teach you all of those prepositions. You will get bored. I also will get bored. So I will be teaching you the important ones, the commonly used ones. Today we will learn about three commonly used prepositions. The first one is in. The word do we use the preposition in? First of all, in must be used before the names of months. Before the names of months. How many months are there? Twelve. I was born dash March. I was born dash March. The correct preposition is in here. So remember this, before the names of months, we use the preposition in. Christmas is in December. Christmas is in December. 
It is very hot in me. It is very hot in me. We will go to Shimla in January. In January. So before the names of months, we use the preposition in. Okay? Now in is also used before morning, afternoon and evening. Morning, afternoon and evening. Remember, I did not say night. We cannot use in before night. But we can use in before morning, afternoon and evening. We got to school in the morning. We got to school in the morning, in. We sleep in the afternoon. We sleep in the afternoon. We play cricket in the evening. In the evening. We play cricket in the evening. So before morning, afternoon and evening also, we use the preposition in. The preposition in is also used before years. Y E A R S years. India became independent in 1947. India became independent in 1947. India won the first World Cup in 1983, Cricket World Cup in 1983. I was born in 2004. I was born in 2004. India became independent in 1947. So before year also, we use the preposition in. Before century, centuries, you know what are centuries? 17, we live in the 21st century now. We live in the 21st century now. So before centuries also, we use in. We live in, in the 21st, in the, in, in. In is also used to indicate a location. In, in is also used to indicate a location. She lives in Kochi. He is in the school. He is in the school. Dad is in the office. Dad is in the office. These are all places. So in is also used to indicate a location. Okay? The next one is on. On. The first use on expresses on shows a surface. The book is on the table. The book is on the table table it is indicating a surface the on is used to indicate a surface on is also used before the names of days d a y s days i will meet you on monday i am going to delhi on tuesday i will return on friday i will take your class on saturday I'll go to the beach on Sunday. So before the names of days also, we use the preposition on. We also use the preposition on to show a device or a machine. Papa is on the, on the mobile. Papa is on the mobile means Papa is talking on the mobile. She is on the computer. She is on the computer means she is working on the computer. She is on the computer. Papa is on the mobile. So there, on is used to indicate a device or a machine. Okay? Now the last preposition for today is at. At is mainly used to show time. Time. Our class starts at 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock. The train will arrive at 3 o'clock. The train will arrive at 3 o'clock. In all these cases, it is expressing time. At is also used before night. We sleep at night. It is called at night. Few minutes back I told you that we cannot use at in before night. 
before night we use the preposition at but before morning afternoon and evening we use the preposition in but noon we use the preposition at remember that night we use the preposition at but morning afternoon evening in but noon and night at okay so th these are the three main prepositions commonly used prepositions i'll be teaching you about prepositions in the uh, in future classes more about prepositions for today that's it thank you very much for listening to me thank you very much for watching my video please watch my other videos also subscribe to them till next time goodbye